in this video I will uh, show you some uh, software which was released for free and they are also updated keep updated for free they are used for BMW cars one of them it's a uh, it's a cast 2 editor right now it's uh, the version 2 released keep in mind all all of these softwares are released uh, for free so you don't need to to pay or activate them always for updates or for newer release you will need to check the the website it's the website it's uh, bmw dash az dot info i already have it open so the last update it's the ECU ISN version 2.2 before that it was also different updates of ECU ISN the cast to editor you can click on the read and you will have a download uh, download link so you just need to download the software and run it I open the cast to editor I will open a file I have two files prepared the cast to EEPROM automatically has been generated a backup as you can see in this folder the backup appeared that's the original file and this is the file which we open we can reset the mileage we have the ISN we have the VIN editor I don't know which win is I take it from uh, internet this file we have uh, key data as you can see we have also the cutting code the frequency the power class the production date the mask and also the ISN and the VIN it's right here so we have key 2 it's of key 3 0 to 1 uh, I don't understand this yet and that key 1 is so active but yeah it's not for the um, using the keys but we can change the VIN we can change the cast or reset the mileage I don't see a button if we have a uh, EEPROM damage in cast 2 how to fix it maybe it will be released or not this is the developer Bahram Akhundov also as you can see the software is free for all BMW lovers even if you are not a BMW lover but you make jobs on BMW this software it's it's very useful I will also open the cast 3 editor it's looking a little bit different the cast 3 editor I will open the file the cast 3 plus file also the same information we have automatically made a backup of the file we can see the ISN also if I is encrypted here it's uh, say it will show uh, FFF we have the same option reset mileage this is the cast 3 plus fix after OBD damage we can uh, change the VIN we have uh, EGS EVS status currently it's off we have the key cut here and let's see mode uh, it's normal mode I think when it's corrupted or something it will uh, tell us something the cast ID 
here I don't see the keys like in the previous cast file and uh, let's click on the help we have this nice instruction first open the cast we have a cast to pinout Okay, uh, this is a cast tree, but in the help we have the picture with cast three plus, and here it's read cast to a prom. No, it's a uh, cast three a prom, and yeah, the picture it's with cast uh, cast three plus. Okay. We can change the power class, we can make automatically have been saved the file after each modification. If we open the new file with OK, it's returning an error. So normally we need to close the software, open again. And open the status of uh, EGS have been changed. Also, it have been generated another backup, which have been overwritten. Okay. Yeah, it's overwriting or it's failing this you need to be careful normally what I will suggest to the developer the automatically option of uh, opening and save the file it's to add a timestamp a date and an hour and uh, just a backup or something and then each time you will open you will generate multiple backups but you will have a, a lot of backups based on the timestamp yeah i will open also the ecu ism software for this one i did not prepare the, uh, any files the software is looking like this so we have the siemens a lot of Siemens, the full flash, the newer models of ECU. We can open the EEPROM and get the, the ISN. And always, uh, if you want to get the last updates, which released you can check his website but it's a nice contribution to to the community and uh, yeah helping you to to do the job very easy I will include the download uh, links in the video description. You will go to the official website and download the software from there. I will not provide the separate download links for the software.